I just wanted to share a little update with you guys. Now, this was a request that came out after the version 3 of the Full of X came out. And I thought actually about it when I was working on version 3, but it was just an extra step and I wanted to launch it. So I decided to launch it and then add this function, which is the duration controls. So that's it's pretty simple. And I added these to all the effects. Now, well, it's under the animation controls section, right under the in and out button controls, or or you can call them checkbox controls. And the way that it works is that this is set to frames, not seconds, because otherwise it just becomes really complicated for like the expression to work. So if you want these to last, let's say you have a timer that's on, on a 24 FPS, and you want this to be one second long, then all you have to do is set these to 24, and then the whole animation will be done right at the 24 mark. This way you can control the speed of the animation. So if you want it to be really fast, you can set this up to 10 and it will end up showing up in 10 frames. Same thing for the outro right here. It will last only 10 frames. And the cool thing here is that let's say you want the animation or the intro animation to be 10 frames long. After that, you can actually set up a keyframe right here before the end. And let's just go back uh, or ahead one frame. And let's say we want this to be slower in the outro animation. Now, when it goes out, it's a little bit slower. So that's basically how the duration control works. And I've already updated the file. So if you have the pro version, you should be getting the an email or something that said that there was an update and to make sure to download it. I'm seeing right now here that we have that frame, no frame available for media out one issue. Oh, and also in the main version, not the beta version of DaVinci Resolve 19, the tracker works again the way that it's supposed to work. So all you have to do is track this backwards and it will be red. And then you track this forward and let it be like that until the red disappears. And now the animation is or the image that you use will be tracked with the paper being folded or unfolded. Now, regarding this no frame available for media out, if you get that issue, open this infusion and then just get rid of that media out right there and it should be fine. Um, now, the only reason why you are seeing this background gray is because I have this set up to your background in normal or usually it will be set to black. So don't get confused by that. So yeah, that is a quick video about this update of the Paperful Effects version 3.1. Now, I also had the question for you guys. Should I create a separate DRFX for the generators? Because I'm pretty sure not everybody will use or want the generators. So that way I have the Paperful Effects on one side. So the people that only want to use those stuff, uh, then only install that. And that way they don't have to have all the hundreds of generators occupying space on their effects tab, right? And that way for the ones that do want to have them as well or use them as well actively on their, on their projects, then I can also have a second year effects that has all the generators in them. Obviously, they will both go in the Paperful Effects pack. I just was thinking about separating them. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments if you have a, the Paperful Effects Pro version. And that is it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Here's Sally. Bye.